Hello and welcome back to Provost Gaming and Civilization Rising Tide, playing as the NSA. Let's pillage off this alien nest. They're hostile to me again, but you know, what else is new? Quest decision. The Neural Lab is a marvel of modern science. Blur -de -blur -de -blur. Do you want health or production for military units? I mean, that's pretty good, but I mean, I'm going to go for the health. Health is still more important, although it looks like we only had one Neural Lab, so it wouldn't have made that much of a difference anyway, but nonetheless... All right, we want to do something to you. What do we want to do? Steel technology. If you can survive for the next 21 turns, that means you are a worthy adversary and I want to steal your stuff. Arc armor. Well, that's not allowed. You get any closer, I'm going to shoot you down, buddy. Don't underestimate me. I'm crazy. I am absolutely rabid. All right, so what are we going to do while well, we are currently pushing toward some level of military supremacy right now. So let's go ahead and destroy their embarked units. Like the little Peasley cowards that they are. There's nothing they can do to resist. Let's continue to send some units up toward Pack, prepared to absolutely annihilate them on command. And the Vortex can join them as well. In fact, the Vortex didn't even get its paint scratched when it took over Liberty. Which is kind of an oxymoron as far as a name is concerned because it no longer has Liberty. It belongs to me. Also, I just noticed that Ark is still using kind of old tanks. Like, they still have, like, tractor wheels and stuff. They don't even float. They don't have levitation. The heck? Dude. You okay? I was wondering what that sound was for a second. I'm like, that's a really weird beat. No! My joy is just spazzing out like crazy. Is this the moonwalk, but for a droid? Because I'm kind of impressed. Yeah, go, buddy. You do it. Ba ba do, ba ba do, do ba do. Oh, I I got pushed away. I'm sorry. Okay. So central, I see that you has Xeno swarms and many titans. Ba 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 ba. Okay, I'm sorry. I can't I can't keep doing that. I'm sorry. It's just such a, it's such a theme, catchy theme song. It is. You have to admit, it's pretty good. All right. Well, I'm gonna start purchasing some units. I suppose. What do we want to purchase? Prime Xeno Swarms are 54 strength, as opposed to a Savage, which is 52, but the Savage is a lot faster. So I'm going to purchase Savages. I don't care if they're expensive. Do I look like I have financial problems? Do I look poor to you? Because if so, then I'm clearly not showcasing my Blazer enough. I should be strutting more stuff. Alright, we'll send the Wrath... I mean, I guess, I guess, yeah, just send all the Navy. Send all the Navy up to pack. Every single one of them. All right, worker units. We have apparently wolf beetles who want to come and murder you. So why don't you just take your time and build a terrascape? Go for it. Go for it, man. Bring Earth vegetation and glory to this little frozen wasteland of a planet. I keep forgetting that we are playing on a frozen wasteland planet. Tundra. Tundra planet, I should say. We should try a volcanic planet sometime. That could be kind of fun. Haven't seen those yet. Not sure how they work. Not sure what's different about them. All right. Angel unique units are now available, and we have level 11 supremacy. So that's fine. We can even upgrade our needle jets into the Herald. 50% when air sweeping or better when attacking wounded units. We're going to go for the wounded units. Not that I plan on making use of these guys at all, but, you know, they're still kind of cool, I suppose. This explorer has no opportunities to heal because the aliens are everywhere. So we'll ignore that for the time being. All right, change production. Uh, you go ahead and just build an observatory or something. Uh, I don't want to build a hypercore because that takes up four Phyraxide and I kind of need more, so no. Why don't you build a water refinery instead? I've heard those are pretty good. Uh, and down in Deep Castle, where are you? I have so many cities I lose track. Can we purchase an angel? Can I buy an angel? Um, Not while another unit is stationed in the city. The savage is currently in the way. So we'll send you off this direction, and then we shall purchase the angel unit. That's not an angel. That is an elder nanohive. That is an angel. Holy crap, look at the giant thing. It's a giant beetle. Basically. I am looking for... Oh. Dude! Okay, I'll put you out of your misery. Thank you. You can stop now. 
I appreciate your enthusiasm, sir. But for the love of God, please stop spazzing out. All right, so we'll move forward a little bit more with this guy, but uh, I'll deploy him and you can see what he does, but they're really not that strong, honestly. There's a different uh, hybrid affinity unit that I think is significantly better. What's it called? Do we have it yet? I don't think we do, actually. Maybe we don't. Well, let's take a look at the science then. Mm, this is it. The Heliopod, or Geliopod. I guess it, pronounce, it depends on your grammar system and how you pronounce that. But a fragile but deadly melee unit that uses invisibility to outflank and ambush enemies. Once upgraded, this thing actually has quite a lot of strength. It is a beast. And it's really good as an assassin unit in one-on-one -on -one combat. And since these guys, honestly, their AoE effect doesn't stack, as far as I'm aware, and it's kind of weak, these guys are better at just being melee assassin units than anything else. And if you're going to do that, then you might as well go for the unit that's actually intended for that purpose. So it's a little bit funny to me. Let's back these Hellions off. They're just making sure that nobody can escape. We're going to park this guy over the canyon, because we can, and it's fun. That would be a brawler right there. He shouldn't be able to reach us. If only we could just, like, make our artillery hover. They could just stand over these canyons and just shoot things, and no melee unit would be able to touch them. That would be funny. All right. Well, I guess we'll move on to the next turn. I want to get this angel into action. It's allowed to walk around in shallow water, but it can't in the sea. It just occurred to me that could be a problem. I hope that it can still technically embark. Because if not, then this is going to be a very sad short trip. We'll build an academy. Sure, why not? More science. Everyone likes science. Dunkile bombarded... Uh, Hellion was bombarded by a needle jet. So you have a little bit of aircraft, which is fine. My vortex was bombarded by an alien manticore, and it did nothing. Which is kind of sad. Choose production. In Deep Castle. Why don't you build me more angels? Oh, right, because I don't have enough Phyraxite. That's unfortunate. Okay, um, why don't you build some Prime Xenoswarms, because those are pretty good, I believe. Uh, that was the wrong city, it turns out. More savages, then. Why not? It doesn't matter too much to me, honestly. So this Vortex took a teensy-weensy bit of damage. We'll send him up here. This Vortex will be invaluable for conquering Tiangong. Again, though, the Hellions, please sit tight and don't do a dang thing. Angel! Can you enter the sea? You can... It didn't want to at first. If I clicked here, it wouldn't have known what to do. I had to deliberately tell it to go into deep water and embark before it would get into a ship. Also, how you fit such a large beetle robot alien unit thingy into this tiny little ship, I don't know. But we found a way through dimensional pocketing. That's how advanced we are. We are awesome. Hey, look, an explorer. What are you doing here, buddy? Is Ark going after Tian Gong? If you do, go for it. I mean, I don't care that much. Be fine. Then I wouldn't even have to break my alliance with Pack in order to grab that capital city. Uh, this is pretty good. I mean, yeah, extra covert agents is interesting, but I like this the best. 10% food carried over? It's like having aqueducts. It's almost like we've gone back in time and used technology that the Romans were using for centuries. That's just a crazy thought. Do we want Vivariums or do we want more military units? Honestly, at this point, we're just going all in on the military units, aren't we? So yeah, more centaurs. In Dongye. And in fact, while we're at it, let's purchase something else here. We'll purchase more savages. Because savages are good. Veterancy upgrade for me. Thank you, sir. Next turn. I wasn't really planning on taking this war quite yet, but, you know, we really, really didn't have a choice, so. Alright, we can't actually deploy yet, because uh, in order to deploy my nanodrone cloud, I need two movement points. Which I currently don't have. So anytime you move, you lose that. There it is! Look at that thing. It looks kind of silly, actually. Kind of derpy as it was walking around on the water. Let's take a look at that thing again. Where are you? There you are. I mean, I guess it's kind of cool. It just reminds me of the giant spider from Wild Wild West. You know? Similar in concept. Which means it's probably deadly. Eh, I like it. I'll go for it. If it wins me the game, then I don't really care that much. It is kind of my giant death robot, literally, from Civ Five. So, whatever. All right, we have more quest decisions. Do we want science per supremacy affinity level? Wait, what? In the hypercore? 
Uh, hang on. Okay, so these are for the hypercore, but it doesn't say specifically it's for a hypercore. But it looks like it's saying I'll get one science per affinity level, which is currently 11 in the hypercore. At least that's what I'm assuming. I mean, we're going to go for scientific research, absolutely. We're up to 466 science per turn. That did increase it a little bit. Not a ton, but a little bit. Which is fine with me. All right, let's deploy our nano drones. And they're deployed. That's it. That's pretty much everything. So any enemy units that walk within two tile radius of this are going to take a whopping 10 damage. Yep, that's it. Just 10 damage. I mean, yeah, a tank could do 50-something to them. With all my bonuses, probably a lot more. Something more theoretical of, like, 80. So, yeah, it's disappointing. It's just massively disappointing. I honestly can't stand those units. I think they're just pathetic. Never getting the Nano Hives again. We'll fortify down there. Keep sending the savages out onto land. The fact that the tanks can go on the water is actually really fun for me. I don't know, I get tickled by it. I love that. Let's go kill your explorer. Haha! -ha. No exploration for you. You must remain ignorant to the rest of this planet. Never mind that we came here in spaceships and had plenty of time to take geological surveys. You must remain ignorant to the exact formation of this alien planet. We've begun work on alien ethics. No, wait, we finished alien ethics. We are beginning alien domestication. Okay. Oh, there's a city over there. Oops, you're about to get bombarded, and I didn't even know it. That's unfortunate. So, if we pick up another virtue in might, we will gain strength for all units. Choose a free affinity level sounds pretty nice. Or, wow, production and energy from all strategic resources. I like that too. Uh, we could choose a free affinity. We have 10 harmony and 11 supremacy. What would it take to upgrade... Well, first off, what would it take to upgrade my angels? 16? 18? Yeah, that's going to be a while. What about my uh, centaurs? 14. It's going to be a while before I have any useful artillery is what I'm hearing here. Nonetheless, I think we will double down and go for the Supremacy. Doop de doop. There we go. Produ plus one production from node improvements. I don't have a single node improvement, so that is actually completely worthless to me. That's unfortunate. Also, apparently we got another Synergy bonus, and now I have another free Virtue. Uh, 10% production towards a unit for each upgrade it has. Okay. So does that mean that, for example, my um, my infantry units, which are currently on tier 3, so that's 3 or 4 upgrades on them, that means that they produce 40% faster? Is that correct? And if so, that seems a little bit powerful, but I'm not complaining. I like that idea. Alright, fine. We just got a lot more production for our already super overpowered military. Let's just keep sending the angel off this direction. Yep, looks kind of cool. It just sort of walks weird. I don't know if I like it that much, to be honest. I'm a little bit underwhelmed. I'm disappointed. Meh. We'll get a mine on the titanium. Doop, 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 ba doop, doo, 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 doop, 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 doop. My Hellion was bombarded by the city of Vanguard, and it still did very little damage. These Hellions are a beast. You cannot contend with the power of the Hellion. Mm, veterancy gained. Four. Apparently for the Hellions for being bombarded. They got so accustomed to being shot at that they got promoted. It's basically their version of the Purple Heart. It makes you more effective in combat, so I'm not complaining about it. What city are we looking at now? Deep Castle once again. Um... Hmm... I honestly don't have very many good land units, do I? Yeah, I can build Hellions in only two turns. I mean, that's pretty fast. Savages are still better, though. They're faster. They get to the f they'll get to the fight faster, and they have better strength. Granted, though, I could build two Hellions in the time it would take to build one. So we'll do some Hellions. Still worth it for me, honestly. Civil Crush. Soma Distillery. I like the four health. Four health is good. All right. Centaur is going to do nothing. You guys are just going to sit back. Everybody sit back and relax. Oh, I totally forgot that I sent another Elder Nano Hive up in that direction as well. Looks like our navy has officially arrived. 
And we actually do have Arc units sitting over here, so maybe this will be a good opportunity for me to deploy my Nano Hives and at the beginning of my next turn, you can see exactly how this is going to work. Although it looks to me like they're trying to take this, uh, the city. If they do that, I'm just going to march in here and take the capital. I won't even have to declare war on Pack. I'm not really opposed to that turn of events. So go ahead. Please, go for it. Uh, Prime Xeno Swarms. Meh. You go join the fight. So, let's deploy our, our um, nano bots. Now, because I am more than one tile away, I'm invisible. So they have no idea that there's another unit about to do damage to these guys. So that'll come as a surprise for them. I honestly think that the only use you would ever get out of this unit is in multiplayer campaigns against another player. And they're sitting there like, what the heck is hitting me? There's nothing there. I'm not. I'm, I'm crazy. It must be a bug in the game. And you're just like, <laughs> yeah, man, it's totally a bug. You should report it. Because that's, that's, that's what you do to your friends, in my head. I imagine that that is what you do to your friends. Does that make you a horrible person? Yes. Yes, it does. Why did you move? I told you to sit there and deploy. I didn't tell you to move. Oh, that's silly. All right, just stay there, and next turn you can do your thing. All right. Next turn. Three turns until alien domestication. And then we will be able to use our vast troves of Xenomass to buy some bioengineered monstrosities. I'm aware of that, thank you. I don't need new traits. Veteran C gained for my centaur. Which again, until I gain more affinity, actually aren't that useful to me at all. But whatever. Soma Distillery. Um. Um. Hellions, I guess. Intruder alert. I don't really feel threatened by you, but okay. Let's get these Hellions off toward the front line. Get these Savages further toward the front line. I really could be pushing in a little bit more aggressively than I am right now. And that would be fine. Alright, why don't you deploy now? And don't go anywhere this time around. And then next turn we will see you do some damage. Oh, I have another Elder Nano Hive that I totally forgot about. So, the thing about Elder Nano Hives, right, I would think that they also could be kind of useful if you could stack them. If you could have, like, three located right here, then you would think that this unit will take 30 damage on the next turn. I don't believe that that actually happens, just based on some preliminary testing I did in my uh, side game that I'm doing while I record the series. It looks to me like it still only took 10 damage, so I think you have to spread them out, and for 10 damage, that's kind of pathetic. So I don't really feel like it's worth much to me, but... Oh well. So, let's see, are you gonna take 10 damage? There we go, 10 damage from the Nano Drone Cloud. That's all it does. Aren't you excited? Aren't you so glad that I got these hybrid units? Very underwhelming. Very disappointing. All right, why don't you build, um... I don't know, a network. A network will be fine. Build a network. I was originally thinking that city was gonna be a lot better than it actually has been. I've mostly just sort of ignored it. Let's move the Savages forward a little bit, now that I have a couple of artillery units ready to go. Let's move the Nano Drones a little bit further forward as well. And you can just sit back. It says that they have a strength of 64. That's sort of my point. These guys are actually really good at solo combat. I mean, these guys have 52. And they're 64 and invisible. You don't even know they're there until they get to you. But again, if you're going to do that, then why not go for the actual Assassin unit that has even more strength once it's been upgraded, you know? Whoa, enemy armor, 64 damage, attacked my city. Wait, you actually did take a shot at me? Aw, oh, cool. Well done, sir. Glad to see that you're actually taking your uh, war contribution seriously. You're gonna blow up, though, so goodbye. Alright, my angel is getting close. It looks nothing like an angel, by the way. Not sure why they call it an angel. Who looks at that and says, It's angelic. No one. No one looks at that and says, it looks like an angel. What should we name it, Professor? We shall name it the Angel. But it looks nothing like an angel. Silence! I am the genius here! Which is also how I picture in my head that all narcissistic scientists sound. <sighs> so that's also a thing. Alright, well... Anything else that we want? I mean, here's another hybrid unit. The Aquilon. 
Ultimate Harmony Transcendence Hybrid Unit. It only required level 4 in Supremacy and Harmony, but there it is! Range Strength 44, a floating biomechanical machine organism. Wow, it sounds like an abomination. Capable of supporting aircraft and launching exceptional long-range attacks. Formidable Heavy Carrier and Siege Unit. We'll start working toward you next, though I seriously doubt you will get any playtime. Because we're moving forward! We are marching forward. Do you hear the people sing, singing the songs of angry men? I don't even know if we're going to wait long enough for our uh, angel to arrive. Honestly, at this point, I'm just kind of getting tired of waiting. Oh, right. We were going to settle down here, weren't we? Yeah, we'll settle in a place to grab the nine Firaxite and the nine Floatstone. Not that it matters that much, but you no, know, nine Firaxite would be worth two more, um, two more angels for me. Oh, I actually totally forgot that I wanted to buy one of those new units. Ah! Ah! Stop dragging me all over the place, Firaxis. I was in the middle of something. You're going to give me whiplash. Seriously. All right. Deep Castle. Purchase. What was it called again? Something big and scary and expensive, no doubt. Xeno Siren? That wasn't it. Xeno Cavalry? No. Where is it? What was the unit called? Xeno Titan, right? Was that it? Um. Oh, I never researched Alien Evolution, did I? Oh, that's disappointing. All right, I guess we're not getting any Xeno Titans for a little while. All right, well, we'll just uh, continue with this in the next video and possibly push an end to this war. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Provis with Civilization Rising Tide with the NSA. If you enjoyed this video, then hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And uh, go ahead and leave your thoughts and your suggestions for what could be done to improve this game, because... Uh, when we finish off this uh, this campaign, I'll give you my final thoughts on the expansion, but I would be eager to hear from you guys, so let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys next time.